Execrations yeah. turn to ban. Fanatics turn to ban. Execrations turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. For now, League's assassin. Execrations turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Our world devourer. Execrations turn to pick. Ten. Admiral Tonka. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Summit 6 C qualifiers. We now move to the lower bracket where if you lose here, you are out. We have a best of three featuring Execration versus Fnatic. Both of these teams, their wall against their back. And both of these teams have a lot of high expectation placed upon them. I am Luminous and I'm joined by Hades Dota as we're bringing you guys this best of three. And right from the get-go, we got Fnatic first picking a Nyx Assassin. Execration, no fear, will pick an OD into the Nyx, which is generally considered as an OD counter. Uh, the draft is on the way. Hades, you have watched a lot of these uh, teams play. Uh, who do you think is the stronger team walking into this best of three? For me, I would say Fnatic, because generally their performances have been more stable recently. But on the side of Execration, they are starting to pick themselves up as they are fighting their way through this, lo this loser's bracket. And of course, anything can anything can happen. This is Dota. So, oh my god, Omni Knight bad. Yeah, so Fnatic opening up whether with the Nyx Assassin and the Warlock. How many this Warlocks are we going to see tonight? This is I like have no idea. It's like a first, it's like a priority pick now in the meta. I'm not sure why. At least in the C meta, because you used to be that you, you see Warlock like once a year. And now we saw it four times now, or is it three? Three times. Uh, and we might see a couple more. This, uh, and, and the funny thing is, you know, like you said, it's a it's a priority pick. It's interesting because I think I've seen enough Warlock this past week, more than I've seen Warlock in the past like three years in the competitive scene, which is very unusual. Like I'm, I don't recall him really getting that much of a buff, maybe for upheaval, but that's usually a spell which people still don't really skill up nowadays. And Execration, King of Life Stealer. Is that an execration? Is that a fanatic thing? Sometimes you do see them playing that, but otherwise, I think these two teams, I still stand by that fanatic have an edge just in the way they've approached the game so far. Execration, we haven't been too convinced, especially since Rappi, he does struggle to find his form sometimes. Yeah. You know, moving back to the Warlock pick real fast, I, I think one of the reasons that we're seeing him more and more is that right now the meta is really filled with supports that. It's all about saving each other or saving your allies. Like, you know, uh, think of the most commonly played support, Shadow Demon, Oracle, even Omni Knight is moving up there. Uh, Kunkka, uh, Elder Titan, a big common theme with them is that you go on his allies, some form of disjoint, some sort of a save, some sort of heal is going to come out. And Warlock just says no to that, right? It's very much so similar to like Global Silence when the initiation happened. You just drop the rock and the AoE is so big that it prevents any kind of a save from coming out. So it really helps your team kind of zone in, lock down target and get the quick kill and then move on from there. Um, in, in, a, in its place, a hero that we haven't seen as much, which I believe is a traverse state, is the Batrider. You know, oftentimes as the best initiator past, you know, a certain point in the game. Where is he? Well, some these teams, if they're not confident in playing against it, they will, obviously they ban it out. But that means that they're so used to playing against it, where you know you pick up the next assassin, and it's a very common counter to Batrider in a way because you just walk into the Firefly, 
bam and he's not the he's not the priority target for a bad to lasso so he's never really a danger he just need and the best part is Carapace does not break Vendetta, so you never really know where the Nyx is, and that's really, really good because Nyx just kind of bad. And nowadays, you also see this wall coming in, like you said, the Chaotic Offering, always going to be there to disjoint those kind of team fights, stop the momentum. And you have just so many heroes which can counter against that as well, like you know, Shadow Demon, Oracle, but obviously, those are banned out. Execration might actually still consider picking that hero up. Yeah, or, or Fnatic, right? Because they don't have to worry about Nyx Assassin, uh, you know, m messing them up. The only thing they have to worry about is the uh, the Astral Imprisonment, you know, possibly saving the ally. Uh, and we are sure that Ohio could definitely play that bat and playing it for years. Uh, but for now, we are... Actually, Nyx Assassin is the offlane. Never mind, we're not going to see the bat from, from them. There, there are some teams that run the Nyx Assassin as a support, but that's pretty greedy uh, in terms of the levels uh, i think i think i think we saw ryzen doing it for mvp but i don't think it worked out for them very few teams can like you have to look at a really skilled player to have very you know very huge impact with a nyx assassin especially when you're not getting good levels you're not getting any like good farm Mm -hmm. like as a core so very few teams will run the nyx assassin i think i've only seen execration Play Nyx Assassin support. This is usually DJ. Like we remember, I think yesterday. Was it? Okay. I remember. But yeah, DJ and Abed. They like to have that synergy with the Nyx Assassin and the Invoker. So yeah, this will most probably be Ohio Nyx Warlock. Or uh, we might even see a Mushi Shadow Feet come out. Actually, they have played it recently. Ooh, Axe is gonna be the pickup here and Execration. Uh, no Running their own kind of uh, kind of wombo combo, blink axe call into Kunkka stuff, followed up and backed up by silencer. So, very very strong initiation. And in terms of counter initiation, they got in spades as well. Uh, Kunkka bolt very good in terms of saving allies, and they got the OD for that as well. The laning, uh, not exactly too worrisome. Axe could duck into the jungle. The fastest farmer in the game right now in in jungle, uh, if he doesn't have a good safe lane. And I imagine he's gonna start there first. So, ooh, this is gonna be our Mushi hero. What do you think about that? Medusa against OD. I always have doubts because, you know, every time the OD bashes you, Medusa, you're gonna lose your mana pool. Your mana shield is not really gonna keep you alive that long. And if anything, you're just gonna be a walking target. And this. I don't know, it feels very weird. Like, Fnatic grouping up, I think it's okay. But... It's also very risky because Execration, in terms of fights, they are able to fight very well around the, around the Global Silence. So it means that there's a chance you won't get your Stone Gaze off, and it means you just die. Yeah, that, that's definitely the worry. Uh, Sansar ulting you, uh, you know, in the middle of fight. With that said though, Medusa does have access into Manta style as one of his ways to deal with that. Um, but, yeah. It is quite a, a dangerous pick against OD. We see Elder Titan being taken out here, as generally that is the the, the Jimmy hero. Actually, Jimmy's been playing a, a lot of Venges nowadays. We'll Venge see what he's going to be. Yeah. He, actually, he might just be on Warlock, because that's kind of a, a similar yes. laning support. Ooh, yeah, he has a bounty. Warlock. Okay. So, Fnatic going for a... Basically, they're saying, look, first 10 minutes, Please don't do anything to us. We're just gonna farm. Maybe Bounty Hunter is gonna snipe a courier or two. Maybe he's gonna set up a kill here and there. But for the most part, first 10 minutes, Fnatic just wanna farm and hopefully nothing bad goes to them. Whereas Execration, they have a lot of power early. Right from the mid lane, you got OD Astro to set Kunkka Torns up. So that's a lot of harass, a lot of kill potential. Axe could come out of the jungle with a ton of farm. We haven't even seen Execration's carry yet. Uh, always a good time to have the carry, the la very last pick. Do you want to go AM into the Medusa, or do you feel like OD has already enough mana burning capabilities? I think AM is alright, but obviously they, we could try something a bit earlier if they want to snowball with the axe. Um, wait, okay, the Ursa is banned out, so anti mage is still okay. And what other pick do you have to you? Hmm. This is actually a tough one. A slug, but slug's kind of risky. Like going into this, the next assassin constantly stalking you. You get the track to worry about. 
Will they still go for Drow? It's not too late, but it's gonna be a very unusual pick. It does it doesn't seem like it will work out since you want the Conquer to go rotate around. And Silencer alone against Nyx, that's a bit tricky. Raise but they'll go for the Razor, alright. Hmm. Fighting course, they wanna fight. Very, very early on. That's just a creation. I think Razor will have a hard time finding a good static link because there's a lot of ways for Fnatic to stop from, stop that from happening. You got the Warlock ult, Upheaval is a spell that will annoy Razor, um, and then you got Medusa Stone Gaze, right? Razor runs in with Link, Medusa ults, and suddenly a bed just can't stand there and tank it, right? Can you? I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe you can. So I definitely uh, have not seen this matchup at least uh, not often. The Medusa versus Razor, so. We'll see, we'll see how it works out. Actually, I can see this happening because a bed's gonna have an advantage. The static link range got buffed in the patch, so it's really strong, especially against range tiers. Like, I'm <laughs> playing a lot more Razor just to see how significant it is. And it's good against heroes like OD as well, because or just any range tier is still pretty good because of how much further the link is. So that's just... I think it's okay, I think he should have a good, especially for the first few levels. And Mushi will struggle to get CS for a while. So that's where Razor can come online. And if you think about it, if you actually get this, I think if you get the link off, and even if you have the Stone Gaze and Medusa, you're not going to be dealing any damage output. Damage output has to come from like the rest of the team. Ah, uh, so like you are mentioning, it's going to be the Razor mid uh, instead of the OD. This will limit Kunga's ganking potential because uh, this combination I've been mentioning, which is OD Astro into the Kunga Torn, it's it's pretty much a free guarantee setup. Um, I wonder what the Kunga will do. He's probably will still hang out at mid and, and throwing at Torrents, but it's gonna be much harder to connect them. But let's quickly introduce who is playing what. On the side of Radiant, we got Fnatic, one of the well, at least the old kings of C. Uh, when C wasn't as stacked as it is now, we got Demon playing Warlock. We got Mushi playing mid on Medusa. Ohio playing that offlane Nyx. Uh, we got AU roaming around with Bounty Hunter, who has been given a lot of freebies. Started with the uh, Boots, Tangles, as well as Clarities. Been given a pair of uh, Observers and Sentries. And I do believe I covered... No, Raven, last but not least, playing on the Safe Lane Juggernaut. Do you want to introduce Execration? Yeah, sure. Uh, on the die set for Execration, you have Kimo playing on the Silencer, DJ playing on the Kunkka, Abed, Playing on the Razor, Gabby playing on the OD. Last but not least, you have Rappi playing on the Axe. Yeah, so earlier you were talking about Rappi, at least in the drafting phase. Sometimes uh, he has trouble getting online. Was that it? Yeah, like how he contributes. Like, I think there are some times where I've seen him, even though he has his, you know, he already has his, like, uh, an ultimate. For example, like Nyx Assassin, he already has his level 6. He doesn't exactly go straight for the, Ven you know, for Vendetta gangs with the rest of the team, despite them probably or rather the space to do so. Instead, he'll go farm. He's like a farming kind of offlaner. Okay, well, if he's looking to farm, that's probably what X wants to do, at least for the first 10 to 15 minutes, or un until he gets his blink. I think the big question is whether he's going to get the Vanguard first, that we do see some players do, or, you know, uh, if he's going to go straight for the blink. Uh, the rest of Execration, running up top here, will secure themselves the room. Maybe Bounty's going to go for a snipe. Pretty hard to actually get off... Uh, that snipe, especially if DJ is... Ooh, they, they see him, they dust him out. Can they land the torrent? Tor ooh, they cannot as A ooh, eats the a tree, runs to the left. He has boots, so... One dust, one torrent down the drain. I believe one smoke as well as Dyer wants to fight. This is some next level stuff. You get scouted out by Bounty and you re-smoke up. I don't think Fnatic will be aware of this. Oh, this could be a really good fight. Execution of better level one at least. The battle begins. Ooh, they just gonna get let them take it, but then they, no they they lose the top one. So, execration use a lot of resource. One dust, one smoke. They they are switching their lanes around. Looks like we're gonna see Abed going to the bottom here. He wants to be match up against Juggernaut, and honestly, Raven's gonna have a very tough time. I think Ohio is just like, hey guys, no one's getting the rune. Something's up. So a bit of sneaky. sneaky. Set on Execration, but pretty okay. And actually, Rappi's gonna win this lane because it's gonna be an Axe versus a Nyx Assassin matchup. And he can... Yeah, he's gonna have a very, very good time against Ohio. Yeah, I mean, Ohio expected to go against the Razor. Went for Boots first. Boots is not gonna help him that much in terms of uh, dealing with the spins. He immediately buys a Quelling Blade. I guess maybe 
ducking into the jungle is one of his options, but uh, he is gonna get wrecked here. I don't think he wants to duck into the jungle. If anything, it's just to help him last it a bit easier. Especially sure. since Battle Hunger is gonna keep coming out. Like, it's a 1v1 matchup. You, you cannot afford to go to the jungle. Since your bottom tri lane is being contested very heavily with this Razor. Well, so far Ohio has zero last or one last hit. I'm not sure how many he's gonna get because Raffi, very easy lane for him. Just get the creep equilibrium or get the creep aggro by right clicking on the Nyx. And now you get to extend your farm a little bit. Unfortunately, M has been blocked by Ohio. Meanwhile, on the bottom side where the action will likely to break out, uh, you got Bounty Hunter and Deem, uh, uh, sorry, Warlock. Honestly, not exactly the best laning, uh, w lane winning supports. So. It's going to be a tough lane here from Fnatic. I think Execration has... They did figure this out, which is why they went for the Razor pick. I, I I can't believe I actually forgot that, you know, Filipino teams, they do like the Razor. If anything, I think they play the most Razor compared to the other countries in the region. So this aggro try and will... I think it will work out for them quite nicely. So Jug's not going to be able to farm as safely as he would like. He's already losing to last hits to a bed. You can see the static link, how far that range is. He's going to steal a ton of damage. Hits like a creep now, Raven. Less than a creep. Less than a creep. Oh, you see that? <laughs> you see that creep? No last it. Gonna have to kind of basically kite around. Demon's like, you know, I'm just gonna get the last it. Nope. Gave it to your 10 damage carry. A mistake. Can you imagine the kind of skill you would have to last it with 10 damage? I think that's that's even way less than techies. So what you're supposed to do to improve your last hit is you you go into a custom lobby, you dominate that uh, neutral creep, the, the the little thing with the golden <laughs> goblet, and you last hit with that one. Oh no, just, just look at that static link range, it's so long, and Raven can't do anything in this lane. This is going to be a horrible lane for him, and if Kimo and DJ watching him, this is pretty big. So, and at the same time, Axe is getting so much good farm, he can just keep the lane pushed out, Go to the heart, or rather go to the jungle, but actually both camps blocked out. Maybe the easy camp later on. Yep. Oh, Rappi taunting, thinking about the taunt. The spike turning quite a bit of damage to Rappi. Meanwhile, action happening on bottom. This is more so harass than actually kills. My question is, is DJ going to rotate off of this lane or is he going to stick to the bottom? Pendita harass. DJ gets X. And now Torrent's going to fly out here. AU flies into the air. They're going to throw all the damage and the dust. Committed for AU. AU just runs Tor at a bed. Can they actually get the kill? They will get the kill. Raven spin has ended, so they don't actually get anything done. One more hit. Bed. Yo, lost vision here. A bed into the trees. And you, you saw the, the power of Fatal Bonds. Fatal Bonds plus spin made sure that Execration all just kind of split up and run instead of killing the bounty first. That's a lot of damage, and you definitely could not tank that. But regardless, they do get the kill. That's just the best case scenario, actually. So. Doing this, maybe he can force the supports back. A bed is so much regen, but he definitely won't be able to stay in this lane by himself. Oh, look at all that damage stolen. Raven, negative damage. No amount of last hit practice is gonna help you. No, that will not. Uh, Gabby, in terms of the mid lane, he's uh, kind of neck and neck with Mushi. I imagine Gabby will pull ahead uh, as he gets higher levels, maybe when he can start harassing, but. You know, Mystic Snig is actually one of the most annoying nukes to, to lane against. It scales pretty well uh, into level 7 as well, so Gabby needs to watch out for that. Meanwhile, it looks like we do have DJ rotating the top, looking to set up a kill. Scout it out. Yeah, there's a ward. And he should know that there is a ward because the camp is blocked, right? On the yeah. right side, so... Maybe they're thinking it's further inside. Sure, like maybe uh, over here instead. Yeah, yeah. Ohio will not get surprised by this gank. In fact, he is farming extremely well, and he needs to really help out these other lanes as soon as he picks up level 6. Good try for the bottom lane when he hits level 6, but it's very, very hard. Oh my god, poor Raven. And you just look at the bed. He's gone for the two level 2 static link, and he steals so much damage, it's gonna help him, and you don't want to run into that. So even if you do try to spin to him, he a bed can just static link you, destroy your supports, and then they finish you off. So how do you fight into that? Like you just said, Fnatic, they don't have strong laning supports. And Bounty Hunter, he's not able to accomplish anything since he just wasted like pretty much the whole four minutes at the bottom lane trying to help out the Juggernaut and nothing, he's accomplished nothing. And this is a huge waste of time yeah. at level two. I feel like uh, this is one of the more out draft that we've seen. 
I mean, maybe it didn't look like out draft as Raven continues to get linked here. It, it didn't really look like an out draft at the end of the draft, but seeing how Fnatic laned it, uh, really make it seem like an out draft. Um, I mean, one thing they could have done is put Ohio in the safe lane and just dodged it. Pretty heavy cost to TP, you know, two, three, four heroes around. Still playable, it's just really hard. Nope. Like, Ohio, Ohio to hit level six. Level six immediately goes bottom, and let's see if they accept this kill. This kill is very, very needed and very important. It does not mana actually to pop his impale. He needs to wait a couple of seconds, but unfortunately the creep wave is going the other way. So Vendetta does last quite a while, and Razor does not have support. He's pinging it out. He's he really needs his abed kill. He's outside tower range now. In the tower range, we'll get the hit off, and now the spin will come through abed, likely to go down here, and he will die. Important kill. They got it, and now Ohio gets himself arcane boots. Big plus. So. Very unfortunate that execration supports were not there that time. Top lane now, Rappi. Now that the camp, you know, the ward expired, so Rappi can farm up quicker. He's gonna build his way towards a vanguard first, actually. It's, I think they it's got a very... Ayo like, oh, on the top lane. Gonna get X, torn. They have to dunk. I don't think he even needs to berserk a call. The dunk will fly through. Thanks for the free kill. And Rappi, looks like he is gonna be going for the vanguard first, which, when you have to safe lane farm like this, uh, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, I realize this is something which um, you don't usually see in the Chinese region. Like, that's what the axe, the axe is there to do when you have safe lane farm. But in this case, you get the Vanguard, it means you can tank in the off lane quite easily against Demon and Raven. And I don't think you actually die to the spins unless you overcommit. So they can just rotate the lanes, or Rappi can try for a smoke gank soon on the middle lane against Medusa. Yep. In fact, the, the rotation has already begun. Silencer on the bottom lane, looks like he might be a little bit of caught up, but no ways to break that TP, he is going to port straight home. Or then he cancels it. Duke's on you, dude. Fine. Are the gang Mushi though? Mushi does have access into Zol and a haste rune. Like, oh, they can they can add Zol into it. Ohio's here to kind of break things up. Horn will hit. Berserker's call, perfect chain stun, and they will have the dog question mark haste. Mushi. Well, he's X. Ace tune. He's oh, actually no. again. Okay, I think he's dead. Unless Ohio lands a good stun, Torn's gonna be there as well. Mushi definitely dead. Okay, no dunk. And that means Ohio wouldn't die, but plus two here on Chemo. Execration, getting whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. Yeah, it adds up as well. Like when Chemo gets that stolen intelligence, especially from the Medusa, that's gonna help towards the late game. Quite a, quite a bit. Like these tiny details add up in Dota. So. Alright, meanwhile, you know, we look at Raven, he just got level 6, and he's so far behind. You look at Abed, he has such a good lead, but because he's rotated to the top lane now, he's gonna actually get the tier on top. No, it's gonna be denied. Oh, unfortunate. Nicely done, nicely done by AO. Now, there is a lot of ability to come back from Fnatic. I, I think if you're on the Fnatic side, you recognize that you're getting wrecked in the lane. In fact, a 2,000 gold lead here for Execration. Uh, but you have very strong team fight, and of course, you have the great equalizer, the Bounty Hunter. You want you win a team fight, you get three, four man tracks off, you're right back in it. So, right now, it's about AU getting that level six, about Warlock getting that level six. You're about to re just recover. Get get whatever early game item you can, minimize your losses, and hopefully Ohio, you know, find some uh, good ganks off. And he's gonna look to open things up with a spike. Impe uh, well, there you go. It happened so fast I can't even cast it. But spike, impale, vendetta, good stuff. That's why when you play OD and there's a Nyx against you, you want to be very careful with the Astro Imprisonment because of how easy he can just carapace you and then vendetta and impale and then you're just dead. Meanwhile, you look at the supports, they just cleared mm -hmm. one side expiration. They cleared a huge ancient stack. Free kill on oh, slash Raven. Chemo. Uh, gives Raven a little bit of comeback goal that he needed, and now Ohio goes in this rune. He's gonna block it. Yeah, I like this. Just small efficient plays. And now he will move forward. Rappy, if he drops his shoes, this is how you lose your lead. Lose your tranquils. He's gonna drop his shields. Impel oh. to steal the creep. Well, there's still one. How he will not be caught. Torn. Not gonna catch him. And I gotta say, for the last couple minutes, Fnatic has really fought their way back. They have. They need to play around the bounty hunter and the Nyx assassin now. If you can force execution to break the bank, and at the same time you are getting track kills, they can actually pull ahead really, really quickly. Yep. But Ao doesn't have track yet, so he needs to get level six. He just took care of the you know, baby wild wings. Ohio. We'll have a blink. 
Oh, oh no, spin, and there he goes. This. Double spin action, Raven. Well, the Vanguard's very, very, very tanky, but not gonna be enough. Raven just fighting free kills, despite getting absolutely wrecked in lane. Already on a killing spree. Uh, 1300 go in the bank. Looks like he's gonna go into that Yasha Manta Diffuser Blade build. Pretty standard stuff from Jug. Oh, uh, he's gonna get so much gold. He actually got a ton of gold. I just counted that. He yep. got like 600 gold just from part of the previous two kills. That's really yep. big. And especially since Axe is doing so well, he's topped the net worth. So dying there, not ideal, but not like he had a choice. And Gabby in the mid lane, I think he's not used to the mid because we don't usually see Gabby play mid. And he's really far behind, just competing treads. We'll go into drums. I think they'll go for smoke here. Okay. Gabby and DJ. He, he, Gabby was quite ahead until the Nyx started to gank. And I think since then, Gabby's been playing much safer and thus like been losing a couple of creep kills here and there. And like you said, the smoke is going to come out. And this could be a very good timing for uh, Execration because they just killed the Axe, right? So the, normally you assume, oh, we just killed the Axe. Maybe Blink Dagger is not ready yet. The smoke breaks. Do they have dust? Yes, they do. Ohio, well, it's going to get everything. He's dead. I'm not sure if the global was actually necessary. Okay, are we gonna see the rock being dropped? Demon has it available to him. They're looking for it. Chemo's joining the party as well. Blink up. Ooh, a little bit off here. And Demon moving quite rapidly. With just basic round boots. How is he moving so fast? Oh, track, track. movement. Yeah. And now Raven coming from the back line. Like they, they are happy not fighting it. At least not for now. Alright, so Mushi goes back to farming. He's actually going for a Yasha. Is this going to be like... Manta Star Medusa? Oh no. Yeah, it's for... I think he, he needs to get the Manta for the global, right? Like his his ultimate is so yeah. important this game to make sure that Execration doesn't run you over. Um, even though it's a, a terrible damage item on Medusa, it's, it's an okay defensive item. And an excellent one in this case. Uh, Rappi's looking Rappi, for the call, he but... will find it, but suddenly there's three or four heroes nearby. Storm will hit Demon. This is gonna be there as well, they're gonna toss out the boat, but he does have Spike and the Rock, making sure that everyone's staying on the back line, track on multiple heroes. This is the fight that they're looking for. Raven on the front line, Kimo dropping very low, he'll be the first one to go down. They dunk and they turn, so Stonegay is not really doing too much. A bed gonna get impaled here on the low ground as well, taking a ton of damage, not rocking so much, but here comes the Astro Prisman. AO will get found out here, and look at the lightning damage from a bed, but still the, uh, the Shuriken toss doing so much, a bed will also go down. And that's two track kills in that fight. I do believe both of them were four to five man track kills. Ohio will survive with 20 HP and not exactly the most amazing team fight for Fnatic, but still made some uh, pretty com big comeback. And if you look at the goal graph, we're back to zero despite the, the amazing laning that Execration had. So this is where I, that's why I said Rappi, he struggles to really come online. Like, yes, he's doing okay. He's found a, you know, he's 3 one one but I think he could have taken that a bit better. Like maybe the positioning up in there, fighting on there, getting hit by the three-man rock. Very unfortunate, but good start coming up from Demon to get that good chaotic offering out. But Ayo gonna scout out that movement. Oh, actually they found him, he was too near the tower. Yeah, and he's gonna give a freebie. That is a dunk. Question is, can Execration make something out of this, right? Like Execration doesn't actually have the best pushing lineup, uh, despite having two range cores, so. I think they're gonna get these kills, but they're not gonna get too much beyond that. Execration though, happy to get themselves more farm time. Oh, it was corrected. It wasn't he wasn't tuning into it, it was just a sentry which happened to be there and just expired. Alright, yep. so Execration now gonna push the farm tier one group up. I think they need to. Gabby is not exactly snowballing hard, like he doesn't have a Midas, so that he can scale very well into the late game, especially against the Medusa. And Gabby's not getting a lot of kills, he's just one one one. Bottom tier 1 should be taken. Chemo has global silence available. So things a bit tough for Fnatic to take a fight for now. But they are yeah. going to try anyways. Look at Ohio. He's going to be sneaky deaky very soon. Yeah, the other thing about Gabby is that because there's a Nyx Assassin in the game, he's really go forced into going BKB relatively early. A lot of uh, good OD games, you want to go for that Hurricane Pike. Sometimes you add a Blink. Sometimes you even go for a very offensive items like a, a Cypher Vice. But this game, he needs to consider BKB quite early. That's going to slow down his damage output. That's going to slow down his farm. And like you've been mentioning, he doesn't have the best farm. 
just look at Mushi, he's pulling further and further away ahead. Like, we're at 1800 gold in his pockets, well, should be the Manta coming up. And with the track goal, they can only pull further and further ahead. This is what I talked about, running for Fnatic. And oh, mid lane, Ohio's gonna set up an impale after a spike. Nah, Not gonna get up. the kill, but uh... Oh, Dust is flying out, they're gonna find AU again. And no way out, unless they want to commit the rock, they will. AU will go down regardless, not sure how good of this rock is, or how here it comes. Oh no, impale to come through, but uh, he got so afraid that he astros himself, and that means Gabby is dead. Kind of a misplay here coming from Gabby, and Raven finds himself yet another double kill. The spike will hurt Kimo a little bit, and they're going to push off this. I take it back, Demon, great rock, uh, and I guess more so off the mistake of Execration, they will win another team fight. A silver lining, no tracks in that in that fight. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Very unfortunate, and yeah, a lot of gold, fourteen hundred gold swing going their way. And Rappi's just gonna go back to clearing ancients. Maybe with the blade mill, then they have a bit of a better luck. But even I don't see the blade mill as a fight changing item. Maybe I'm just underestimating it, but. Still, it's very difficult. Like, Execration, right now, they're being put into this position where Fnatic is making them use the Global Silence in a very passive manner, where they're using it just to destroy fights. And that's not ideal. You want to use the Global Silence and dictate the pace of the game. And as this drags on, Fnatic are just going to pull further and further ahead. So, yep. Reno, Smoke Attempt coming out, Rappi, DJ, and Kimo. They smoke Yo. right under a ward. Uh, AO will break the ward, but doesn't matter if you smoke under it, AO is going to give you the freebie. AO is freeding really hard this game. Ouch. Gonna get dumped again. I, I I think that's like the fourth or fifth time that has happened. But, uh, you know, sometimes when you... Oh my god, Ohio is going to get caught thanks to the ward here. They're going to throw out the torch. Shit. Oh, that's going to get spiked though, so not a lot of damage there. It's going to just pour it out. Do they have X available? Don't need it. Rappy on the warpath. That's going to be a blade mail. I, I do agree with you. I don't think blade mail is going to do much this game. Normally, it's a very good item. But, you know, you don't have like a Luna or a Drow Rager on the other side where the damage output is insane. Um, what, what is Zeusa going to do? Hit you with her like 80 damage? She's going to just, just like whatever. So. Real tough. I would have thought maybe a Shiva's AC is not that bad. I even would consider like a Yield Scepter just so that you can catch someone. Or it's easier to just dodge a couple of stuff. Yeah. Especially like against the bounty hunter, it's good for displaying the track as well. But I mean, this is a passive item. You could have thought maybe the Shiva's was, it's not that bad, especially against Medusa and Juggernaut. Extra armor is always good. The, the blade melt is very good against Jug, right? Especially if Jug is uh, going for more of a damage build. Mm, like yes. imagine, imagine like Raven Mantos in a fight and he just gets blade mail called. Like it is it is not not good for him, so. Speaking of Raven, I gotta just remind the viewers, right? If you're just joining us, Raven is 5-1-1, one, one, but he started the first 10 minutes in the game getting like 2 CS. Like, oftentimes I look to the bottom lane, he has negative damage because there's a Razor in his face. The fact that he's able to recover like this is just a sign of how good he is trying to carry Ro. Yep, remember True Sight, Ryan saying that Raven's the most stable, consistent carry in the C region, which he's not wrong, he is. And right now, he'll try for a bit of a push. Oh, the mana leak and the carapace catching into a bed, and mana issues. He doesn't have like a bottle to keep him refilled, but okay, DJ, giving arcane boot, so the utility conquer. Middle lane, they still want to commit to this, they have the global silence available, and Rappi needs to find the right call, he needs to find the right initiation, track is going to come out. No call. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of the team tracked out, oh. that's a three-man impel, welcome Rapid. to Ravish! Fatal Bond is going to come out global, again, defensive music bow, it's going to fly out defensively as well. Well, it's going to hit quite a bit of people, Raven in the front line, Omni is going to fly out, he will probably die on the way out. No, he survives the dunk, will finally die to Kimo. Meanwhile, Abed in the front line, Mushi, very healthy, he's going to go forward, will get the kill. Demon finds himself a double kill, thank you, Face Fatal Bond. Ohio still looking to find a little bit more Blink Dagger off the cooldown and Impale. This one will get dodged. Nice uh, jukes by Gabby, but team fight is already won. May maybe we're singing the praises of Raven a little bit too fast because the praises we need to be singing is uh, Ohio. Uh, he got wrecked in lane, but as soon as he got level 6, setting up multiple kills. And boy, that Blink Dagger play was absolutely beautiful. That was three men stun straight up followed by the chaotic offering into the omni slash with the fatal bonds damage output was just amazing it's a good play coming up for fanatic they executed that team fight great event. and now execration you can see how far behind they are like the net worth advantage they had which was very very shaky and fragile creation will lag behind a bit 
And okay, Mushi actually went back for the Lincoln Spear, so you have the defensive item. I think it's okay, like it dodges the static link. But Execution, they will they insist on taking this tier one, they're gonna push for it again. Yeah. Okay, oh, Mushi's gonna get called here. The Lincoln's gonna be very Stun helpful. Again. Stun is gonna be there. Mushi gets off his ult though, he's gonna survive because of it. Rappi's in there, Ohio in the ready. Oh, oh my god, that Pivo is gonna be on top of everybody. But Demon gets caught, Demon is in the air. He will be the first one to go down. Yes, he will. The dump not gonna come up, but another two men in Kale. Rappi dropping very low. They want Gabby. Look at the mana burn. Ohio is gonna spike you. Oh, he's gonna actually walk close enough, but it does not matter. Spin's gonna get the kill. And Track again are flying out. Abed taking a ton of damage. She needs to help his team to retreat. No, they wanna fight again. Raven comes in, but dodge by Did you see Manta dodge Raven? He's a god. Raven going for the right clicks. He will win the right click war. Tracks are helping out. And now AU still looking for a little bit more DJ looking for the torrent it will hit a nice two-man torrent and that will be the end of the fight execration gets demon and they lose three track kills uh, that was a almost a 3k network swing my god and they get the tier one tower too just really good play constantly coming out from Ohio like all right you were right that we're saying that we're singing the praises too early by Raven but Ohio he's playing this mix like he's playing a tide hunter He's getting multiple stuns all the time. He's getting into execution, and this OD is always getting mana burned. He's taking so much damage. This axe can't even find a call because every single time, Ohio is just jumping to the back, finding these great stuns, stopping them, and Fnatic are just able to get so many free hits off. So you look at Mushi, his damage output is so high, courtesy of Ohio, really, really well played by him. Yep, and now we are going to see Mushi moving back towards the man style. I mean... Normally when there's a Deuce in the game, you kind of just don't worry about her because she offers so little in the early game. But there is going to be an important game where, you know, she starts to hit like a truck. And I feel like Mushi, we are approaching that point rapidly. Uh, I think after the Mantis out, he needs one more item before Execration taps GG. Because this lineup is not designed to beat uh, a Deuce lineup, especially if OD has item that he does. OD has a blink and and a and a drums like that's it. This is not enough to uh, to go up against Mushi. Yeah, he really needs a BKB as well, like you said. But I don't think he'll have the time to farm it up if it's gonna be a very very slow BKB. Like he needs that defensive item. Meanwhile, smoke coming up from Fnatic. They're gonna look to kings up a notch. Um, Look, try and get maybe that objective end. They could actually try for Roche, but it's very slow if they do wipe execration here. Oh, and Bed's gonna Ohio. break that smoke, and I think he might break it at his own death. Trying to dodge that impaled. Global's gonna come out, but can you save a bet? Astro, that man! Gabby does nothing for his teammates. And now we're gonna see Mushi running forward. Everybody's fade up on the rock, and looks like this impale hits nobody. Raven moving forward, looking for the right click here. DJ taking a ton of damage. We do have the OD blinking back out. The crit's gonna get the job done. Rappi being surrounded by five more track kills. Triple kill for Raven. Give me that update score because I wanna see how much gold Fnatic made. They are making bank. Oh, another 3k. Man, these guys are just pulling so far ahead. And even if you buy back an execution, you can't even hold the base. There's just nothing they can do. This could be just it. Fnatic going up the high ground. Mushi leading the charge, tanking the tower like it's nothing. Uh, they will get turned back here as AU throws off more track. Remember when he was running around just feeding? Now he has the mech, he's got 1000 gold. And his teammates are looking to take the racks. They need Rappi back as, as soon as possible, okay? Blinky swoop forward is a Gabby. But there's no follow. Now they're going to Raven. They're going to steal quite a bit of damage, but do they have anything? Nope. They will just destroy the fight with an Ohio Impale. So Fnatic now on the retreat. They could look for a turnaround once the static link expires. And this Blink Dagger, look at it, Gabby. He's having such a bad performance. I think this is actually the worst performance I'm seeing him on a, on a core hero. Because usually he's in a safe lane. And I wonder I if he's adjusting. not used to playing this hero. Maybe. Not exactly a, a common safe lane, you know, girl that would be learning or playing. Tough. Especially with the Nyx Assassin that's going on to you. So, Fnatic, they actually haven't lost any objectives for now. They have been dictating the pace of the game. It's very, very scary. And you look at Ohio. Now that he has a Yules, there's no such thing as a global silence. He doesn't have to worry about it. And... The next big thing should be Roshan, if they want to- Oh actually no, they can just go straight for the tier 1 bottom lane first. I just realized this was still there. 
Well, I don't think it'll be there for long, Hades. As, uh, it's gonna go there. Very, very easy for Genetic to roll them down. There's 3,000 gold here on Mushi. Any any thoughts on what he might get here? Are we gonna just go Scotty and just be like, you can't kill me? For the jug? You mean for the jug? No, for Mushi. Oh, for Mushi? Mm. Yeah, I think Scotty's okay, but Butterfly... Yeah, sure. I mean, just any any kind of damage item, right? Like, even if you want to go a little bit ball steep and get, like, an MKB, fine. It's just, like, as long as he uh, gets something that's an actual item, fine. Any item is good on him at this point because they're so far ahead. All these track kills are piling up, and Ayo has fulfilled his purpose. Look at him, Guardian Greaves, 26 minutes in. I think even if you send an axe and then a silencer onto him, they can't kill him. So right now, they'll just group up, take the bottom tier 1. And it's very, very obvious what Fnatic want to do next. Just take this objective and secure Roshan, and they can just pretty much close out the game. Oh, Raven in the front line for his team. He's got the Blink Dagger as well, so looking to go on to the squishy back line. Chemo, watch out. DJ, watch out. Raven is coming for you. And we're going to see the Manta style push. Being backed up by Mushi. Oh, Immediate they found Blink them. back. Smoke play, Yule Scepter finds Chemo, Chemo gonna be dead, another track kill. And Mushi has 5300 gold, he's so farmed with 17k net worth. And Rappi, no amount of ancient stacks gonna help you, so yeah, you can. this is why I said like Rappi, he's a very very greedy off laner. Like, the amount of impact he contributes to, the amount of farm priority he gets, doesn't really balance itself out, like it, it doesn't benefit the team. So, this is, this is where things are really very worrisome for them. And you look at... A yeah, bed pick on the razor, like it did work out at first for the lane, but afterwards they just didn't, get, you know, they didn't really get to coop up for the OD to get more items, or they couldn't even. They just struggled so hard just to even secure a tier one. All right, we're gonna see execration try to break up this Roche, but Ohio in the perfect position, break their smoke, and you know perhaps no. get a ravage off. Maybe not. Okay, he runs to the right side. Now we're gonna swing the swing around. Okay, they find Demon. They need a quick kill on this. Global's gonna come out as well. They do get the quick clean kill. Ohio blinks on the back line, trying to set something up. That's a two man stun. Ohio's gonna get X back. They are gonna forfeit Roche. I say that though. Roche is ticking very, very slowly on the back line. They lose Ohio as well. Fnatic. Okay, they do get the Aegis. Now, dude, they wanna fight three for four. It looks like Abed has died throughout that. There's a double damage on Mushi. Mushi. Okay, I like that. No rap, he's dead. No blink dagger on him. So, another track kill going their way. And... Well, he might be able to blink away. Yeah, oh no, will. are you serious? Meanwhile, uh, looks like Raven able to find a kill on Chemo. So, right. you, you saw what he did there? He battled hunger at creep, giving himself like, what is it, 7 or 11% movement speed bonus? 12. So, uh, not a lot of us would have done that. Definitely a, kind of a heads up play. Uh, he might still be dead. Hey, you? Um, nah, he's not getting mm, a kill here. He's too, way too tanky. tanky. The HP region is too high. Oh! Oh, actually, wait, I take that back. Wait, Mushi. wait, wait. Mushi is here. Oh, he blinks away and he's gonna survive, I think. That was close. If he had mana for, for Battle Hunger, he, he would have survived that one. But that was the longest chase. And the uh, Fnatic do not give away their kills quite easily. So you look yeah. at Raven now pushing up the bottom lane. They have a creep wave, healing ward, everything at the ready. Aegis and Mushi, Execration. I don't know how you defend this. I really don't. No global silence at all. Alright. Mushi does have that butterfly, so... Okay, they X him up. Mushi does not care. He will stand right on top of the X. I'm gonna be there. This is the saddest feeling, watching your base go down like this, knowing that there's nothing you could do. Sounds like life. <laughs> oh no, feels bad, man. Feels right. bad. <laughs> this is right. why I don't get to play Battle Cup. Saturday night. Uh, me the, too. The feeling of no friends. And here we go, we're gonna see the Blinky forward. Okay, Gabby blinks back, pops the BKB. Shit. The bow is gonna hit. Uh, I'm not sure who. Ohio's gonna be there. Ohio's gonna go down, but Mushi just pop walking in the front line here with his ultimate. One goes down, two goes down, and the bed's gonna be going down as well. Yeah, Rappi's gonna be dead on the back line. GG well play gets called out. This game was over maybe 15 to 20 minutes ago, but Execration will call call it a little bit later. And that's game one in the books. Fnatic looking pretty strong in that mid-game recovery. Really, really tough game. DJ 
he's been trying so hard, but I think it boils down to Rappi. Like, they need that position 3 player to just have so much more impact. 7-1-1, but I think it just boils down to more 